to be back out here. I'm in Texas City Dyke right now. The conditions is it's kind of like sprinkling and it's very, very foggy. And it looks like it's gonna be good for black drums and some bull reds. I got some crab in the back and I got some dead mullet also. I got my buddy Dayton in the back. We're gonna try to see if we can find some black drums out here. Maybe some bull reds. Conditions look perfect. So we're gonna see if we can get on them. It just feels good to be back on just recording and giving y'all videos. It's been over a month that I haven't been fishing. I've been dealing with stuff back home, but it feels good to be back out here. So I'm gonna try to give you all this video. Y'all stay tuned, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, everybody. So this is what I'm working with today. We got some fresh dead mullet. Go ahead and cut the tail off. I don't ever use the tail, but we're gonna go ahead and do a couple chunks. We're gonna do one on here. here right in front of us get all those oils mixed up but this is what I'm gonna use only on this these two pieces and then we also got some lovely frozen crab I don't know how good it works whenever it's frozen but I picked it up at uh over here at Bucky's. It's pretty frozen. I don't know how it's gonna work down there. It's gonna freeze and just all dissolve. But that's what we're using today. Ready? You already know. What are y'all using for bait? Mule. So mule? Yes, sir. Some nice it, chunks baby. right there. Look at that one right here. You might catch the dolphin with this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to get ready and start casting them out. Throwing some smaller baits. Boom, just like that. out hopefully it doesn't pop because I have not used this for a long time oh yeah I'm gonna let it go all the way to the bottom and just slowly drag it till you feel it get locked up set we're using another Saragossa on a nine foot rod we're going to put a piece of crab on this one we're going to hook it right here just go straight down just like that Make sure to always tighten up your drag, especially during this cold time. You don't want that line to cut your finger open. Oh yes, beautiful cast. Okay, we're locked up now. Now you want to go to loosen up your drag to where the fish can pull it. Lock it in. Put your 
your bait and send it out again. I'm using two crabs or two pieces of crab. We're using a, I think this is seven ounce weight. That's usually what I use. Wait, never mind, it's six, six ounce. But I usually use six, sevens, or eights, depending on the winds. Send it out. Ooh. Beautiful. Just drag it. Look at that. You see how that hit the ground and it locked up right away? That means it's, it's in the drop. So I'm already calling it on this one. And get hooked up. And if you cast close to the rocks, that happens you don't want to do that because you're losing almost $15 of like material yeah he's not getting that out I think it's gone there we go you're gonna pop it that's just a bad way to start man I've been there before it sucks all right, guys, I was about to give you a little walk through the reels that we're using today. This is an Avid LX. Then right here we got, what is this? It's a pin, right? Yes, sir. We got a pin. What is that, like 5,000? Yeah. 5,000? 55. 55. Over here we got a pin slammer. Looks like a, I don't know, 55 also, huh? And then we just we have a six thousand Saragossa. That's my baby. And then we got the newer one, also six thousand. No par knob on that one. It should be coming soon. And then we got the Salt X. This is by Tsunami. It's a little bit dirty. Haven't used them, but there's the setups for today. Crab, mullet crab and they got all mullet we're gonna see how it goes today guys y'all stay tuned for it it's gonna be a good day all right guys we might be having something on here there he is yeah yeah there we go guys got the first one Woo! Man, it feels good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. No, bro. No way. Hey, it's a start. It's a start, bro. Yeah. Man, I had a good boat on him, too. Like, it was tight. Oh, man. Man, I think it's these hooks, too, bro. These things are like mad rusty. Oh. Look at that. Man, I Well, the ours are about the same, so shoot, hopefully. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's hey, cool, it's cool. Enjoy, yeah, uh, bro, I thought he, I thought he, like, he was on there. Look at the drag on there, still, like, right. that's good pressure. It's all right, it's a start. Damn. It's a start. All right. It's all right. Should I should have landed him? It's okay. Can't always land the first one. Good thing that they hit the mullet. Yeah. It was mullet, yeah. Not bad, not bad.
get it out. guys we got all three rods set again they all have bullet so we're gonna see how it goes now <clears throat> I think there's one messing with this last one On the salt eggs. Oh yeah, he feels heavy. all over the place. Oh, you still want it too? Yeah. It should hold it. Just watch <laughs> 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 Here, Dave, hold my pole. I'll get down. <clears throat> he got bit <laughs> Almost fell he too. Oh, oh, he's heavy. To... Or they trying to bring it up here. I can't even hold it's too heavy. Oh. oh 
Oh my god. Here, hold this one real quick. You got Huh? Felt like it could. I check this out. It's all torn up. You gotta check out this monster red guy. You gotta check out this big old cut he has right under him. That's right in his bladder, huh? You're right there. Woo! <laughs> You gotta check out this giant red. We're using a uh, dead mullet. I think we're gonna back out there. <clears throat> All right guys, as y'all can see, he's pretty inflated in there. So, we're gonna go right behind these, poke them. And get all that air out. Just like that and he should be ready to go Ugh. shoot him back in there and he's gone just like that Alright guys, I think we're gonna pack up already. It's getting it's getting a little bit dark out here and I pretty much ran out of bait already and I caught one, lost one. It was not a bad day. Actually my first time coming back out here, landed one. I think that's pretty good. But I think I'm gonna just pack up and go home already. It's getting pretty cold. As you can tell I look like Rudolph right now. But that's gonna be it for today's video guys if y'all enjoyed it go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and thank you so much for all the support y'all stay tuned for the next video we should be going out to another spot We're trying to catch some bigger reds because these reds out here at the dike are pretty small what's up y'all think we're gonna go catch some bigger ones over there at yes, that lucky spot you already know yes sir yes sir yeah but Texas, baby. But y'all stay tuned. Till next time, guys. We're out. Peace.